hey what's up everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can flash one ui 7 on the samsung galaxy m52 5g so let's get this video started okay so before we do this you will need to have your phone's bootloader unlocked and install twrp recovery if you don't know how to do it i have made a video on how to do it i will leave the link in the description down below you can check it out and also you might want to take a backup of your phone's data because this will erase all the data on your phone. Okay, so head over to the ROM link in the description down below and you will come to this page. So yeah, this is the Project Nerve Paradigm ROM for the Galaxy M52 5G. And this is done by Yagzi. Thank you Yagzi for doing this. And as you can see, it is rebased on the Galaxy S25 AYD9 build firmware, your eraser, denoxed, added CAC features, outdoor mode, extra brightness, adaptive color tone, and some other things as well and here if you scroll down you can see the features based on the latest galaxy s25 firmware full galaxy ai audio eraser 2 nox patch high-end animations debloated from useless system features that not intended to work on our device and better stability slightly debloated se linux is set to enforcing ksu next included denoxed for stability CSE features samsung dex live blur and I, and and as you can see there are no bugs i think and there's a warning over here do not change kernel in order to keep the sd card working so after you flash this rom you must not flash any other kernel or else the sd card detection might stop working and again do not flash majes can something like that so yeah if you come down over here you will get the download button and this is actually the main post the updated build is over here if you scroll down a little bit and yeah this rom is available for the galaxy a52s as well so if you have that phone you can try it out as you can see this is the slightly updated rom so yeah you need to click on the download button over here select open and you will come to this page and here you need to click the download button and the rom download will start i'm not gonna download it as i have already downloaded it just to save some time all right once the rom zip file is downloaded you need to copy it over to your phone's sd card i'm gonna connect my phone and I'm gonna put it in the root of my SD card. So I'm just gonna copy, like uh, drag it over here. And now we wait for the file to copy. Okay, so once the file has finished copying, you can unplug your phone from the computer and then reboot into the recovery mode and then we'll continue there. And if you get an error while copying the file, something like the file size is too large for the file system, what you need to do is you need to format your SD card to the EXFAT file system and then the file will copy over without any issues. This is because FAT32 file system can't take files bigger than 4 gigabytes. Or you can use a USB drive, copy the file to the USB drive and then use an OTG to connect the USB to your phone and then flash from there. Okay, so on these newer Samsung phones, you need to keep your phone connected to the PC to boot into the recovery mode. So I'm just gonna connect it to my PC real quick. All right, now first let me or shut off the phone by pressing and holding the volume down button and the power button so let me do that and as soon as the screen turns black you need to immediately shift your fingers to the volume up button and the power button keep pressing and holding them until you see the twrp logo
all right once you see the twrp logo you can let go of their fingers i mean let go of the buttons all right now we can go and disconnect the usb cable connected to your computer we don't need it anymore all right so first up what we need to do is you need to select wipe advanced wipe select dalvik art cache cache metadata data internal storage and then swipe to wipe once that is done select back go back select format data type in the word yes and then hit this tick mark over here and once that is done you need to come to the twrp home screen select reboot select recovery and now we wait for the phone to boot back into the recovery mode select the power button all right once the phone has booted back into the recovery mode select install and then browse to where you have stored the rom zip file so mine is on the root of my sd card so i'm just gonna select sd card and it will be over here yeah as you can see project nerve so i'm gonna select that and then swipe to wipe now we wait for the flashing to complete Alright, once the flashing is complete, you need to go back to the TWRP recovery home screen, select reboot, select recovery and then wait for the phone to boot back into the recovery mode. Alright, once it's in the recovery mode, you need to select wipe, advanced wipe. Dalvik slash ART cache, cache, metadata, data, internal storage and then swipe to wipe. It's ok if you get an error, come back and this time select format data and then type in the word yes. And now select reboot system over here and the phone will boot into the ROM. Now the first boot will take some time so be patient. Alright, looks like the ROM has finished booting. Oh, 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 and here we are at the setup screen. Okay, so let me just uh, set this up real quick. As you can see we have booted into the home screen now as you can see one UI 7 over here let me show you the uh, settings about phone and as you can see one UI version 7 and our version 15 so yeah this is the one UI 7 running on the Galaxy M52 5G Alright, so yeah, that is it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.